The Jake Asman Show on the Sports Map Radio Network. Presented by Rocket Mortgage. Live from the O'Reilly Auto Parts Studios, here's Jake Asman. A lot to still get into right here on the show, the Jake Asman Show. This hour of the program here on Sports Map has been presented by Rocket Mortgage. When you need an expert to help navigate the home loan process, Rocket can. So some news with the New York Jets here. Jets head coach Robert Sala told the media yesterday in New York that wide receiver Jamison Crowder is dealing with some contract stuff, and that's why he hasn't been at OTA. So you look at the Jets wide receiving core, and they actually have some talent there for the first time in years that they're actually going to, you know, give Zach Wilson maybe a chance to succeed, unlike Sam Darnold, who had nothing to work with for basically three years. You You have Corey Davis, who they brought in during free agency. You obviously have uh, you know, the moves you make, like taking Elijah Moore in the draft and signing a bunch of dudes like Keelan Cole, Denzel Mims. You had Crowder on the team still. So Jameson Crowder has put up 137 catches and 1,500 yards and 12 touchdowns in two years with the Jets. He's due to make $10 million this year, but none of it's guaranteed. So the Jets could be like, uh, you either take a pay cut or we cut you. I would work with Jameson Crowder, though, if I'm Joe Douglas and the Jets. It's tough to ask Jameson Crowder to take a significant pay cut when he's been your best offensive weapon the last couple of years, and he's had to deal with Adam Gase, and he's been a professional. You know, that being said, $10 million is a lot for a guy that's a slot receiver, a good one, not great, and you have Elijah Moore who's turning heads in camp and plays a similar position. I think the best-case scenario here for the Jets is that they work out a short-term extension to lower his cap number. You know, give him this year guaranteed, Give them some extra money for next year. Lower that cap number from 10 to maybe 5 or 6. And then you could use that extra money to maybe sign some veteran free agents that are still out there. That's how I would hope it ends up playing out. Because there's no reason for the Jets just to cut him if Crowder you know, and them can't work out a deal. Worst case, I think you just deal with Crowder at that number. Because he's still a good player. And you're still the Jets. You need as many good players as possible to help out your young rookie quarterback. Do I think ultimately it gets done between the Jets and Crowder? I do. He's a good player. And you have Zach Wilson. Give him every weapon possible. Like the anti-Sam Darnold approach should be the approach the Jets look to take. You know, give Zach Wilson, Corey Davis, Jamison Crowder, Elijah Moore, Denzel Mims. Give him all those guys. Keelan Cole. There's no such thing as too many weapons for a rookie quarterback. So do I think it ultimately gets done between the Jets and Crowder? I think they work something out. He's a good player. You don't have enough good players. Find a way to get it done, Jets.